Welcome back again, uh, dear viewers. And now we are uh, accompanying you to uh, a very nice cultural uh, visit and tour to Al Muaz uh, Street, which is supposed to be uh, a very nice open air museum in the uh, old and historic uh, Cairo. Uh, it uh, gets back to the uh, Fatimid dynasty to the 10th century. Uh, founded by the uh, most famous and well-known um, uh, Khalifa al muaiz al-Din Allah al-Fatimi. It witnessed um, a renovation process in the last time, um, in, in the last few months by the uh, Egyptian government. And uh, actually it's supposed to be um, uh, not only a very uh, archaeological and tourist uh, nice attraction, but also it's a market which has been uh, uh, visited by hundreds uh, on daily basis. To shed more light on this, we are delighted to have on the phone uh, Dr. Um, Hazem Hassan, historian and researcher. Dr. Hazem, uh, it's indeed uh, very good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. So, the uh, history and the story, would you just give us um, a historical lookout about the uh, Al Muaiz al Din Allah uh, street? Of course, when we speak about this uh, street, it's, it's a, a very important street, either from the historical point of view or archaeological point of view or even historical point of view. When we look at the, uh, uh, the uh, origin who created this street, it was Gohar al who was uh, the general of uh, the Fatimid uh, dynasty, who came uh, from uh, North Africa, from Morocco. Who founded first show. Cairo, yes? Yes, exactly. Cairo first uh, and then Muaiz al -Din. Exactly. So it's the main, the main avenue, the main street in the capital that was built by Gawhar Saqalli. So we're talking about the year 969 AD. So uh, uh, more than a thousand years which means that uh, this street is older even than many uh, uh, superpowers in the world today. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we look at this beautiful uh, uh, street, it was, as I told you, the main avenue, the main street. And uh, when we see the great monuments that are inside of this street, we see that it covers the medieval period uh, uh, really uh, well. When we speak about the Fatimids, the mosques from their time, uh, we know, of course, that uh, everything in this street is old, is interesting and, and archaeological. So uh, when we look at the uh, a mosque like al Hakim Babrillah, for example, that is just next to the, uh, uh, the entrance of Cairo, uh, uh, the northern one uh, called Bab al-Fatuh, we see mm -hmm. it's a special style, it's large, uh, uh, open court, and of course, uh, uh, it's a, a very important mosque. Mm -hmm. When we look uh, further, we see uh, some other different elements, architectural elements, such as the complexes, like the, the complex of uh, uh, that has a madrasa, a school, school. to, to um, study the four uh, schools of the uh, uh, Muslim Sharia. Mm -hmm. It is inside of this complex, next to the, to the magnificent tomb of uh, uh, this uh, great Mamluk Sultan. We see also a beautiful mosque, unfortunately, uh, that was uh, uh, robbed uh, in, in the Ottoman period, uh, like the fountain, for example. There was a fountain that was robbed by the Ottomans. Uh, also, we see Abimaristan, which is a hospital. And when we look at the details inside, we see that it is uh, interesting because when we look at how it worked at that time, at the, at the time of the Mamluks, we see that there was a, a kind of social security as a system. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, when uh, people uh, suffered from uh, skin diseases, they were received by the hospital for free and they were uh, 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 they passed their cure. They used to bring uh, uh, sulfuric water so that they mm -hmm. could uh, uh, get uh, their cure in the sulfuric water to uh, cure the disease. And when the, 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 the patient is cured, he can get, get, uh, get out of the hospital with new uh, outfits 
and also with a salary that is equivalent to the period that he spent in the hospital. So it's a very, uh, um, it was a very uh, uh, efficient uh, uh, social security system. See, so uh, Egypt was really, or, or, or uh, this street was extremely uh, uh, rich. We see also uh, Sabil, uh, many uh, Sabils, even from uh, uh, the, the late period of the, uh, the Ottomans, Khisru Basha. Sabil is a place, a uh, fountain, to, to give water to the passers-by for free. Mm -hmm. So when we know, of course, Egypt is a hot country, so uh, people need to eat, to drink water. And it was so famous from the ancient time, yeah? From the ancient time of the, I mean, the Egyptian, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time so uh, the concept of uh, Sabil is to, to give water for free to people passing by. Uh, mm -hmm. We see that this street was a very important street, not only in Egypt, but all over the, the region and maybe the, all over the world. Uh, when we look at the work that had to be made uh, uh, to uh, make restorations in, 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 this, uh, uh, in this street, we see that we started making restorations from uh, the, the, the past century, and we're still working on that mm -hmm. uh, to, to preserve the, 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 the wonders in this street, uh, either mosques or sabil or complexes. Uh, uh, we, we have also a traditional hammam. Inside, you see, uh, Hammam Inel, who was one of the Mamluks, he built this uh, Hammam inside of the uh, uh, of the street. Even today, when we pass by the street, we see that we have, we still have some artisanal uh, uh, workmen who are working on copper, and this is a, a main attraction today for tourists who visit the the, the, the street. And uh, every time uh, a passerby from the, the tourists uh, looks and finds out this person, this artist, who's working copper, he's surprised, he's amazed, watching uh, the, 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 the workman or the, the artist working on a, a plate made of copper. Uh, it's a very big attraction because they don't have this in their country, in their home countries. Yeah. That the man will work. It doesn't exist in, in, in the world now, only in Egypt and uh, in, in the uh, countries who are rich with their history. Yeah. We can see this uh, interesting thing. Yeah, of course, you can just smell the history over there in these streets as you just uh, give us a, a great picture of it. So, Dr. Hazem, when we talk about the um, Al Muayza Street, we um, we don't mention that it's only an archaeological and um, um, such a, a tourist destination, but also a great market. For whom, though, who didn't even visit the market of Al Muayz Street, how you can describe this market? Uh, it's a very important market, even for Egyptians. When we speak about tourists, of course, we can see a lot of stands, and stands for example, selling some uh, artifacts or some. Uh, some souvenirs for tourists, but we should not forget that next to uh, Mahal Street, there is the famous Khan uh, Khalili, mm -hmm. that has a big, big uh, 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 reputation as a market. And on the other side of the same street, we see Sera, the biggest market of gold and silver in Egypt. So it's a very important, uh, from the point of view, economy. Economic, from the economical point of view, this area is extremely important. Yep. And for this reason, for example, when we look and we compare and, uh, between the, the, the square meter of a shop in this area, and the Sera, comparing to the rest of Egypt, the, the, the square meter in a shop in this area is the most expensive all over Egypt. Yep. So this is a very important thing to, to, to underline and to shed light on the, uh, uh, the, the valuable area and how it is extremely expensive and it's the most uh, active uh, um, uh, trade street all over Egypt. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Hazem, when we uh, refer to the latest renovation of El Moise Street, um, in particular, when we talk about renovation for historical sites, it's really critical. As if you're talking about a surgeon who's supposed to uh, perform a surgery. 
to keep the nature of the historical site without touching it with a sort of renovation. So how you can describe or how you just evaluate the latest renovation of Edmise Street? Actually, when we compare uh, the efforts that are made by the Ministry of Antiquities uh, in the past uh, 10 to 15 years now, comparing to the past uh, uh, efforts that are, were made also by the authorities, we see that there is a very interesting wave of work in the, uh, uh, in the restoration. And uh, of course, before, um, Egypt was, had a lack of, uh, of experience in, in, in uh, archaeological restoration. Uh, today, we have a lot of youth and a big experience, a large experience in restoring the, uh, uh, the uh, ancient and the uh, ancient monument. And we started also to get specialists in every period. So when we see, for example, some specialists in the Islamic period, in the ancient Egyptian period. So we see that the Egyptian youth today are, they got an excellent experience and uh, the lack of experience that we had now started to, to disappear. Also, the state started to give more importance and to, uh, 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 to, uh, uh, to, to uh, give more money to the uh, operations of restoration compared to the past uh, uh, century. So this is a very promising thing. We don't need any more experts in uh, uh, restoration because we do have the Egyptian heads and hands who are able today to restore in a perfect way and to clean up all the, 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 the dust and the mud that covers uh, these wonderful uh, artifacts that uh, kind of date back to uh, the, 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 these uh, ancient periods. Yeah. So um, we need nothing actually. We need no help from anybody. The work could be done by Egyptian hands and heads by 100%. Yeah, of course, what we are always uh, appreciate from uh, our leadership, the importance of the historical uh, sites and the importance of the renovation of the historical sites which have been uh, performed in the uh, last period. So, uh, Mr. Hazem uh, Hassan, um, historian and researcher, uh, thanks for being with us and have a nice day. Well, by this, uh, dear viewers, we come to the end of our uh, today's uh, breakfast show. Thanks for being with us and goodbye.